We've watched a lot of shows through the years, but few have been as devilishly fun as Lucifer. If you're not familiar, this show combines elements of case of the week detective dramas with biblically influenced stories and imagery. It's an exciting romp featuring humans, celestials, demons, and angels, and is definitely deserving of a binge watch. Season 4 dropped on Netflix, so you can do just that. And after the incredible and shocking ending, we can't help but wonder, what's next? The creators have ridden themselves into a corner with this ending, so the internet is going insane, coming up with theories for the next season. We'll touch on a few of these and offer up a few of our own too. It almost goes without saying, but yes, there are spoilers ahead, so be warned. Now, without further ado, here are the crazy Lucifer Season 5 theories that have to be true after Season 4. To understand the Season 5 theories, first we have to understand the Season 4 finale. Lucifer is, of course, a procedural TV show but we still do get pieces of season and even series story arcs in every episode. After the huge cliffhanger from season 3's finale, where Lucifer finally reveals his true face to Chloe, she has had an uphill battle to trusting and loving him again. But we'll get to that in a minute. First of all, let's talk about what made the finale so exciting and even heart-wrenching. The episode entitled Who's the New King of Hell starts with a rather light and airy choreographed dance number, with Lucifer feeling better than he has in years. He dances his way through the lux to the precinct, and it looks like this episode is going to be lighthearted after all. He even picks up a baby, and we know how much Lucifer hates kids. So only good things lie ahead, right? Well, not so fast. Lucifer's brother Amenadiel is going through a struggle with his newborn son. He's making plans to protect his son Charlie by taking him to the Silver City, and away from mom in the process. Charlie is a celestial, so he can freely travel to heaven himself, but mom isn't so lucky. After a brief insane conversation about circumcision statistics, Lucifer even makes a grand gesture of giving Linda a thoughtful gift of Sigmund Freud's journals. But even after this, Linda still says that Lucifer is not cured, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Lucifer decides to stop working cases for now, and we get to see this week's case play out. A rapper gets taken out live online, and it's later revealed to be the work of demons. They've escaped to Earth and can inhabit bodies. Setting up the first part of the troublesome problem Lucifer will find himself in, one of those mentioned demons finds himself in the body of Father Kenley, even though he was axed in episode 9 by Eve. This demon named Dromos teams up with another named Squee to try and trick Lucifer into returning to hell to rule it. Even though these demons have been described as stupid, the plan is a solid one. In what can only be described as a plot taken directly from the labyrinth, the demon's real plan was to kidnap Lucifer's nephew, the baby Charlie. Because he's a celestial, he is also able to rule over hell. So their plan is to snatch the baby and groom him to be heir apparent. Back with Team Lucifer, apparently Chloe has finally come to terms with Lucifer's appearance, but she's still afraid this demon caper will turn him back into some kind of monster. But TV shows so rarely backtrack growth, so this is going to lead to a huge moment. After Eve sent the team heading to the Mayan, the big showdown was able to begin. After a scuffle between the demons and the group, Eve is able to put a bag over the demon's head and Lucifer grabs baby Charlie. This move helps validate who she's become, but it's still clear that her path needs to be further explored. Remember how we said Chloe was afraid Lucifer would revert back to monster form? Well, her fears were completely realized when Lucifer's only choice was to appear as a massive demon king. He ordered the demons back to hell, thus taking on the role of ruler once again. But after they leave, he's human again, and the baby luckily gets returned to his parents. So all that's left is the final emotional moment between Chloe and Lucifer. They both can't seem to find a common ground when it comes to the demon issue. Chloe thinks that he should stay and they should deal with the issues as they arise. But Lucifer knows the truth. He must go back to hell to permanently rule over the demons and keep them contained forever. Even though Chloe finally tells Lucifer that she does love him, he decides that he must protect her and all the other people on Earth by returning to hell. 
Ironically, Lucifer has got to wonder if this was all part of his father's plan to get him to return to hell. Falling for his first real true love, Chloe, not Eve, ultimately did lead to him going back to hell. We got to see a final shot of Lucifer, resting on his throne in his suit, but not before getting a look at his now angelic wings. Demon no more. It seems self-sacrifice and the hero's journey was enough to make him redeemed. The overarching theme being that change is possible, even if you are the worst of the worst. The message is a worthy one for the show, but that final look at Lucifer gives us so many questions. First of all, we know the massive social media campaign to save Lucifer and get it moved to Netflix worked extremely well, obviously because we got this almost perfect season and ending, but Netflix has never released the viewership numbers for its shows. So it could very well be that we have seen the last of Lucifer, but let's look at things more positively. All indications are that people have been streaming the hell out of season four, and even though it wrapped up most of the storylines, it also opens up the possibilities for so many more themes in season five, which is what brings us to the next part of this video. What are the writers' plans for the next season? Well, luckily the showrunners of Lucifer have already teased what is to be when the show returns. They said that season five was gonna be awesome awesome. Yes, awesome twice. Starting with the very first scene. One of them even said that the opening of season five will be one of his favorite things that they've ever came up with in the show. That's enough to give any Lucifer fans chills. Rumors say that this big moment in the opening will be tied to getting Lucifer back to the status quo of the Case of the Week episodes with the overarching story sprinkled in. We obviously know that the show can't move all the characters to hell to be with Lucifer. Some of them are human and would have to die to get there, and the show isn't about to kill off multiple characters in the opening scene. Although, the theory that Chloe only could die in an attempt to hunt down Lucifer actually kind of makes sense. We know that the show wouldn't stay that way with Chloe dead, but it could easily have two alternating storylines, one on Earth and one in Hell. So logic dictates that the scene shows how Lucifer plans on getting out of his Hell-ruling situation. Could it be a part-time king, part-time detective on Earth? Likely not. And that certainly wouldn't fall under favorite things they've ever came up with territory. They also went on to explain that this scene would be as outside of the box as possible so that people don't get bored and that they don't get bored. So we predict a Chloe and Lucifer heist of sorts. They team up again, likely after a lengthy time jump. And remember, time moves much slower in hell. So Lucifer will be itching to find a way to safely escape while keeping the demons at bay. Maybe Chloe came up with a plan to be able to do just that. And if she doesn't make her way down to hell, Another theory that makes sense is that Lucifer goes back despite all of the demon problems. It could be that some horrible act happens back on Earth, forcing Lucifer back and ultimately bringing back hordes of demons with him. The new normal for the show then would be finding the demons and sending them back to hell each week. Still a procedural show, but with now even more of a supernatural element. A lot of popular shows seem to stagnate around season four or five, that's why you so often see new storylines brought in, you see changes in the setting, or whole new characters. This would be a major departure from the normal for Lucifer, and could really spice things up to ensure even a season six or seven. But what do you think? Do you think hunting down demons instead of criminals would make the show even better? Another theory that we could see happening is Lucifer doing what he does best, working out a deal. Except this time, Lucifer ends up with the short end of the stick. There might be a way that Lucifer negotiates himself back to Earth, but at the cost of his supernatural powers. Could he be able to give up his powers and become human? Would he even be willing to do that? We do know that his one biggest weakness is his love for Chloe. So it would be a real shocker if the next season starts with him getting rid of his angel and demon status altogether. The only problem with that theory is, who would then rule hell? The only other option on the table at the end of season four, of course, was Charlie. And we think Big Brother might just have a problem with that. We can imagine an overarching theme in season five being Lucifer trying to come to terms with this new humanity while trying to hunt down demons on Earth and protect Charlie. A lot of moving parts, yet a completely possible scenario. But things never really have been simple for the Prince of Darkness, have they? Well, that wraps this video up. What do you think? Did we nail it with these theories? 
Or do you have some ideas of your own? Let us know down in the comment section. And before you go, do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss any new content from The Binger. Until next time, thanks for watching.